Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing my haggard nails. They're in a state, um, but you know what? We're sorting that out. I've said this before, but uh, I really treat everyone else's nails so nicely. And then when it comes to my own nails, I just like, I just lose my mind a little bit, I think. I think, they th I think they're invincible, but clearly they're not. Anyways, um, so these are going to be my birthday nails. The big 3-0, turning 30, how crazy. Um, but yeah, so these are just a cute little B-day set for myself. I decided that I was going to keep my nails short, have a little run, because I've been for so long with very long nails. Um, so I'd take a little go at some short nails. So I'm just starting with my prep. I removed my nails a few days before doing this set just to make my life a little bit easier and to make these nails not take as much time. Um, so I push back the cuticles and then I'm using this little Erica's ATA bit, which is linked in the description to lift up the cuticle. You can see how beautiful it does that. I, this is so satisfying to me. Just watching it lift the cuticle right off my nail plate. It's a wonderful thing. And then it makes it so much easier to cut off any dead tissue um, with the cuticle nippers afterwards. Um, but yeah, so today we are doing a bow set and I will be using the Jello Jello peel off base coat, which is very exciting. Using it for the very first time. Um, I've worn this set and removed it at the time of voiceover. So I have thoughts and feelings about the, the Jello Jello more so that I just, um, I do think that it takes a little bit of working with and figuring out the best method. Um, but so today when I'm using it, I'm just using it purely as I would a base coat. I'm well prepping my nails um, and applying as the sole base coat without another base coat on top, which I wasn't sure if that was like a thing you had to do if you had to put another base coat on. I did not for this set of nails. Um, yeah, but I'll get to I'll get to that a little bit later. Um, but yeah, I've been loving the chrome bow trend, nail trend. Um, I believe I originally saw it on done by Usan on Instagram, um, and I've been obsessed with it ever since. I've done bows a few times on clients, like little sculpted bows, but this is my first set on myself, or I guess on anyone doing it in the method that I'm doing today. Um, and it turned out really, really nicely. I really like it. So here I am just filing down what free edge I do have into a kind of soft square shape. Um, I really, I have an extended hypodicium, uh, which basically ne means that my nail beds have grown out well past the point of my finger. So I don't actually have too much free edge to, to work with. So basically filing them right down to the skin. Uh, which is actually partially an attempt to push back the hypernicium a little bit um, by having it a little bit more exposed and it has worked for sure. Um, so now I'm just using my e my e file, my hand file and I'm lightly, it looks aggressive but it is light, lightly buffing over my natural nail just to etch up the surface a bit. Um, I like doing this sometimes with the hand file because you can really use the edge of the hand file to get into all the little nooks and crannies. And then I give them a dust off and a wipe off with a blend of alcohol and acetone. Get them all ready for the Jello Jello. Um, so yeah, like I said, this is my first time using this product. I'm just applying it as I usually would, scrubbing it into the nail, um, as I do with all base coats. And yeah, um, I like the cons consistency of it. It is like relatively self-leveling too. So it was nice, even just as far as base coats go, it was nice to work with. So I, uh, I apply it to my thumb and then I'll cure my thumb or flash cure my thumb. And then I'll do a finger or two at a time for the rest of my hand, flash curing along the way. But yeah, the one thing that I'm um, interested in trying with the Jello Jello, so far I've done two sets on myself where I've kept my nails short. I am interested in trying it with extensions because I see a lot of people do it with extensions, which um, makes things a hell of a lot easier, but I am curious to try doing that. Uh, so now I'm just going in with a yogurt gel. This one is from the Gelato Collection. My beloved Gelato Collection, I love it. Um, so I'm gonna go in with three coats of this color because I did want a bit more coverage uh, just because, you know, my nails don't look too hot. So I'm gonna go in with three coats of this. I love watching too. I've included, I mean on three nails, I've included myself doing all three coats and I love just watching the coverage build. It's so creamy and nice. Now 
Now, there was a fair bit of experimentation in this set for myself in terms of the next product I applied. So when I work with Chrome in more detailed situations, I usually apply the gel bottles all in one builder in clear and then give that a good wipe down with alcohol and then I am able to do my chrome on top of, or detailed chrome on top of that without it transferring to the base below. So I had this idea, I was like, well, it's a non-wipe top coat situation. Why don't I try another non-wipe top coat situation? Um, so I'm trying the Izemi Resin Low and then I'm gonna cure that and then wipe it down. Um, spoiler alert, didn't work that great. So I got a little bit less transfer of the chrome, but not as much as I would like. Um, yeah, I would prefer, I mean, just the, uh, what's it called? The, the gel bottles all in one builder. I barely get any chrome transfer. So um, I'm considering it a bit of a fail, you'll see. <laughs> so I'm just going in with the Vela chew it gel it's the clear mission control gel and this has a non-white finish so it's actually great for chrome so i'm drawing out the design and then one piece at a time i'm using my diami pin cure light to flash cure everything into place before popping in the lint for a final cure um, so i do one side of the bow at a time then the other and the two strands and then the little center bit and then after i've cured it i will go in with my pink chrome and rub that all over look how cute it is oh my god But you can see I'm kind of scratching at the surface there because I am getting some transfer of the chrome onto the base, which I don't want. So I'm going in with a bit of alcohol and a wipe there and just trying to remove it, but it's, it's not the same. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, all nail artists who are watching this, I'm sure you feel this pain deep within your soul. Because we've all been there probably many times. But yes, I still stand by the gel bottle all-in-one builder base as a, uh, a good base to avoid that. So instead of applying another layer of gel, I'm just gonna buff over top of this one to make a, a more rough surface that the chrome won't wanna stick to. I'm just using like a 180 grit buffer, so nothing too intense. And then once I wipe all those down, I'm basically going to go in with the exact same method. Um, I'm going to use the Vela Chew Gel and I'm going to do one bow ribbon at a time, flash carrying all along the way. And it's honestly super simple. It was even really simple to do on my dominant hand with my non-dominant hand. And you kind of want them to all look different. Like you don't want them to be too perfect and even, which, you know, lends well for working with your non-dominant hand. Um, but I think it, it's cuter that way when they're all a little bit, a little bit different. And you can even do this with like a, like Bella makes different colored 3D gels. You could do it with stuff like that. Or Jello Jello actually makes um, different colored gels as well. That would be really fun. I'm just going in. So this was another kind of test just to make sure the base was good and nothing was going to stick. But then moving for the, forward for the rest of my nails, what I do is I just, I apply all of the 3D gel, a flash cure along the way, and then give that one final cure, and then uh, go in with the chrome at the end. And if you wanted these to be even more 3D, like mine are 3D, but obviously they're not massive, you could definitely go in with a few coats of the clear and that would help build things up a bit. And then I'm just dusting all the chrome off and then going in and then just doing any touch-ups. 
And then I'm gonna use a thicker top coat because when you're working with 3D, especially with chrome, the 3D elements are more prone to wearing down um, than flat chrome. So I'm gonna use the Jinbi uh, Crazy Top in the thick um, to really coat everything in. And I'll, I'll even, you'll see me do it. I pick up a bit of extra product and I run it like kind of right along the ribbon. And that's just to make sure that everything is a little bit thicker and more 3D and more protective um, of the design. You do want to be careful when you're working with kind of like negative spaces like inside the ribbon. Um, when you're applying top coat sometimes you can get bubbles within and that's not cute. But you know what it is? these nails. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Let me know what you guys want to see from me down below and I'll catch you in the next one.